Boeing has officially responded to the Indian Navy's request for information for the 57-carrier Bon fighter jet's tender, and has offered its latest F-A-18 Block III Super Hornet fighter jet, which is the newest tactical aircraft in U.S. Navy inventory, and its procurement will enhance interoperability between the navies of India and U.S. The first two prototypes were delivered to the U.S. Navy in June 2020, while the delivery of 78 operational fighter jets will start in 2021. The F-A-18 Block III has a flying life of 10,000 hours, which is a 40% extension over the previous Block II variant. The Block III upgrade incorporates new structural improvements and addition of new sensors, 50% reduction in radar cross-section from Block II variant, conformal fuel tanks to increase its range, and has an option of a stealthy enclosed weapons pod. If the F-A-18 Block III Super Hornet fighter jet is selected by the Indian Navy, Boeing can start delivery within three years of signing the contract. Multiple sites have been identified where the two-stage Prithvi defense vehicle and advanced air defense interceptors will be deployed under the BMD Phase 1 program, and operational standard interceptors will be deployed round New Delhi by end of 2022, and Mumbai by the end of 2024. Suitable sites have also been identified at the western and eastern border for the installation of the 800 km range swordfish long-range tracking radar system. Two new interceptors AD-1 and AD-2 are also being developed for the Phase 2 of the BMD program, that can intercept and target ballistic systems at 5,000 km. The DRDO has also developed Swordfish 2 radar system which has a range of 1,500 km, and it has been tested successfully in real-world conditions. India is all set to place an order for 30 Predator B drones at the cost of $3 billion, while China has started commercial production of the 10,000 km range CH-5, and Pakistan might choose the Chinese drones as a counter to India's procurement of Predator B, which is also available at half the cost of the American platform. India has not entered the big game of unmanned aerial vehicles, which is currently dominated by the US, Israel, China and Turkey, and new reports indicate that India would need up to 5,000 UAVs over the next 10 years, which is an extraordinary number, as the present operational numbers within the Indian Armed Forces is nowhere near the target. China had recently tested a light tank named T-15, and the Chinese media had claimed that these light tanks would be more suitable for operations in the mountainous region. A tank commander of the Indian Army deployed at the line of actual control has said, that the Chinese light tanks will not survive against the Indian T-90 and T-72 tanks and BMP-2 infantry combat vehicles that are deployed at multiple locations and they can operate in extremely cold weather conditions of minus 40 degrees Celsius.